Have you ever had a bad mechanical hard drive and you don't know what to do with the data, how to safely dispose of it? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. And this will be a perfect video on how to show you how to do it. So stay tuned. All right, so, all right. So you have a, let's per se, you have a bad mechanical hard drive and you backed up all your data and there's stuff on there that you don't want people to creep on because you're about to dispose of the drive. Well, fortunately there is a way to erase it safely. Uh, the program I like to use is called Active Kill Disk. I will leave the dis link in the description, but this is the one I like to use. There's plenty of other softwares out there, but the one I like to use is called Active Kill Disk. And I'll show you how to use this. If you get a prompt, just say yes. Okay, so right now I'm using a, a example drive here. This one I've already killed, but I can do it again to show you guys. So anyway, when you first set this up, you want to go to preferences right away. Uh, so you might want to do this stuff. That way you're good to go. Uh, you want to tick both these boxes. Uh, you want to ignore all errors because, well, you know the drive's bad, so obviously that's pretty sad. Easy enough. General, you can fill this out as you wish. The environment, sound notifications. You know, you can take care of all this stuff. You can set your disk erase how you want it. But these you got to pay for, which personally, the free one, you can only do one past zeros, which I think is sufficient. Anyway, if you want to do it more than once, you can, but it, you can, you don't have to worry about this stuff. So yeah, it's just for error handling, just tell it to ignore your errors because you know it's a bad drive. But the drive I'm using is healthy. So, okay. So what you want to do is go right here. You want to erase the disk. And then you want to select all the disk space. Now, of course... If you have partitions, this is going to take longer. And if you have a bigger mechanical drive, this is going to be this is going to take a lot longer. But do remember, um, that's only normal. Uh, if you have if you're doing this to a solid state drive, don't bother. Don't do it to an SSD. You will destroy the SSD. So, because of all the read and writes that you're doing to the uh, flash memory chips, you don't want to do that. So you just want to select all disk space. Once everything looks okay, just press start. And then your drive is going to begin the kill disk process. And as I said, this will take a lot longer if you have a bigger drive. Because, well, that's only normal. So, um, and also be careful not to wipe your own uh, system drive. Even though it probably won't let you. Because uh, Windows is forcing a mount on it so anyway i will leave this link down in the description how to download it the installation is pretty straightforward and if you want to pay for it go right ahead but i stick to the free version because it does what i need it to do so i hope this tutorial helped you guys and if it did smack that thumbs up button and give me a comment below and we'll talk to you all in uh let's see or april it's crazy to think that we're going into April already. All right, guys, we'll see you all in April. Bye for now. All right, guys, as you can see, the drive, well, I want to add this in. As you can see, the drive is 8% wiped, and I still have 56 minutes to go. While this, well, this is a smaller drive, obviously, because it's only 149 gigabytes. That's pretty small, so this drive should go pretty fast. Uh, if you have a faster enclosure where you can put it in, this will go a lot faster. If you have a USB 3 enclosure, this will go pretty quick. But if you have a USB 2, uh, for bigger capacity drives, this might take quite a bit. So, um, all right. I just thought I would share it out, this out quick. And then we'll see you guys in April. And uh, don't worry, April will be a monthly upload. But starting in May, we'll be posting twice a month instead of just once because that way it can keep up with you guys and then we might 
I don't know for sure if we're gonna do it, but we might do that into the fall. So I guess I guess I guess that's all I gotta say. So if you guys like this tutorial, like I said, smack that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll talk to you all then. And then we'll see you all later. Bye for now.